Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here because it's time for another haul. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to Park Avenue. I do styling, fashion videos. I have tons of content, so you can check out some of my other videos. And when you find something you like, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And you guys, don't forget to turn on your notification bell because I don't want you guys to miss any uploads. Especially right now because I got a few holes lined up and I don't want you to miss anything. You probably already tuned in, but you might be new here so you don't know that I did a live recently and we talked about some of the items that I was interested in from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I'm super excited because the sale has finally gone live, but it's only live right now for icon status as far as Nordstrom card holders go. So if you are a Nordstrom card holder and you have icon status, you would already know that you can shop the sale. It's gonna go like different uh, levels open on different days. They're only doing three days of icon status, I believe. So pretty soon everyone is gonna be able to shop the sale regardless of um, your level. The only thing is that as the sale progresses, sometimes things sell out. So I made it a point to head over to Nordstrom and pick up a few things, but I also put in an order, so I'm gonna have a couple more videos coming. And on top of the Nordstrom anniversary sale stuff, I got a couple of other things that I accumulated for some weeks now, so I wanted to show you guys that as well. And you guys, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I got a pretty huge announcement. I'm just gonna get some of the other stuff out of the way and then I'll show you the Nordstrom anniversary sale stuff that I got. Not that long ago on Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me some questions. One of the things you guys had a question about was like fragrances and you wanted me to talk a little bit more about fragrances on my channel. Now I have other fragrances, but these are like this one here. This is Saint Laurent Libre. Libre. Hopefully I can say that with the French accent on it, but I love this one. It smells so good. It's one of my favorites. Personally, I think it's a great fragrance for every day, and I think it's a great fragrance for work if you're looking for something that's memorable, but not in your face. And I feel like most of my fragrances are like that. They're memorable and they smell so good, but they're not like in your face like, oh my gosh, I'm like getting a headache from all the fragrance, you know? So at work, it's not gonna be too crazy. I think it's perfect. It smells so good. I love this one, and I love the bottle. So it looks super pretty on your vanity or wherever you have your fragrances set up. It looks so nice, a part of the collection. And it looks really like luxe and expensive. It looks really, really nice. I love this fragrance. Now, the thing about fragrance is you gotta try it on because fragrance is very specific to the individual. No matter what it smells like in the bottle, it's gonna smell different when it mixes with your body chemistry. But these are my recommendations as far as trying it. This is definitely one to try if you haven't already. This one is also a refill and one of my favorites, Chloe Nomad. I think I've only gone through one bottle of this, but I really loved it so much that I wanted to make sure I picked up another one. It smells so good. I, I recommend this one as well. Now, I'm trying to think, this one I wear, I've worn mostly in the winter time. I would wear it in the summer as well, but I've worn it mostly in the winter months. But I recommend this one for sure. These, I feel like, are always gonna be staples in my fragrance collection, just because they just work so perfectly with my body chemistry. Okay, now here's a new one in my collection. This one, I'm excited to like really wear and see how I feel about it. Honestly, I've heard some things about it. I've watched other reviews on it and everything like that. Mostly, I was interested in the bottle. It looks so gorgeous and so feminine. I love the tassel, it's a beautiful pink color. It's gonna look great on the vanity. But everyone does say it smells really, really good, so I'll let you guys know, I'll keep you posted or check my Instagram stories because I usually like randomly say things in my Instagram stories about like some of the products that I like. So make sure if you're not following me on Instagram, you head over there because you know, you'll find some interesting things in my stories. But I really love this one. Actually, I'm just gonna spray a little right now. Smells really good, it has like a powdery finish. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, I can't remember which number it is, but one of the Chanel fragrances. I gotta let it settle, but so far really, really nice. I recently got some sunglasses. These are Gucci, love these cases. They look so luxe, the velvet cases, burgundy, and I love this color. Now, you guys know that I'm like super into the 70s. I love everything 70s, and I'm just gonna dive right into that for like all my fall looks. And now that I'm wearing my hair, in its natural curly state. I'm really just embracing my curly fro and I just wanna like, you know, just get into my vibe. So thought these would lend itself to like all the 70s inspired looks I'm wanting to create. And I thought they were interesting. I don't have anything like it, so I figured, you know, let me try it. So these are them. Now, I wanna know what you guys think about them. Do you guys think they're cute? Do you think they fit my face? I usually tend to go for really large sunglasses 
So these are slightly more narrow than I would go for, but I really like them a lot. What do you guys think? I actually like them more with my hair up than I do with my hair out. When I had my hair out, I was like, mm, I don't know. But you know, let me know in the comments what you guys think. So I also wanted to show you guys this blazer. Now this is a color I don't have in my collection. You guys know I have so many blazers already and I'm actually going to do a video purging some of my blazers. So, you know, stay tuned guys, that's coming soon. And whatever I don't keep, I'm gonna put on the closet sale. And speaking of the closet sale, I actually put up tons of shoes, boots, sandals, so many cute options, but things are actually really selling quickly. So if you're interested, then make sure you check the description box because I'll have the link straight to my website where you can shop my closet. Now this blazer is from Banana Republic. I love the color. This is actually a size 18. It's way oversized, but that's kind of what I was going for. Um, I was, I really like it. I don't know if I'm absolutely gonna keep it just because of the color, but I do really like the color. So I just wanna make sure that the color looks good on me. I'm gonna think on it and then see if I'm gonna keep it, but I really like this blazer. And Banana Republic, their sales are so good all the time. Gap and Banana Republic. I don't know about Old Navy and Athleta, but they have sales constantly running. I know Gap has like a permanent 50% off, it's crazy, but they have some really good stuff. So make sure you guys check their sites because for work, you can find some really great basics. You can even find some really great interesting pieces. I've talked a lot about Banana Republic and Gap on my channel. I always find some of the greatest things and they're understated or they're great basics or they're great like pieces to build outfits on. They're great to incorporate. They just have some really great stuff and I think that a lot of people don't think about the Gap or Banana Republic as much as I feel like they should because they have great things for your work wardrobe and for your casual wardrobe. So love this blazer, has a vent in the back. I didn't cut it open yet just cause I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it so I just figured I'd leave it. But I think I'm most obsessed with the color. I was thinking it would look really cute style with some shorts and like maybe a button up shirt, like, like leave it out or a bodysuit and some shorts because it's so oversized and it's a little bit longer. It'll look really cute with shorts. Just a really relaxed vibe like that a lot. Speaking of The Gap, <laughs> I randomly went on the in The Gap for just to see what they had, but they had a bunch of stuff on sale like I said, and I checked their clearance section and they had a bunch of jeans and I looked out and I found another pair of cheeky straight jeans from The Gap. I love their cheeky straight jeans. I'm actually wearing a pair right now, but I like them because the ones that I've gotten, they don't have a ton of rips on them. Like they actually have no rips at all. And I used to only have jeans with rips and it's very inconvenient, especially for work. I mean, you don't always wanna have jeans with rips in them and I tend to like have more rips than I would really want for work. I mean, I still wear jeans with rips in them, but they have to be pretty minor. But it's nice to have some with no rips because it just pairs better with a blazer when you're still trying to be professional. You don't wanna to have too many rips in your jeans. So it's just good to have some that don't have any rips. These do have distressing at the hem, but it's very minor. I really like that. They have a good bit of stretch to them. It's sort of like a, a washed black. They're not like super, super black. Very nice, like a casual sort of fit. They're high waist. I really like these cheeky jeans just because the denim is hard enough that it feels sturdy, but it's not too hard that it's uncomfortable. So I would definitely recommend these cheeky jeans. I went up to a 12 in these um, just because I haven't been wanting my anything tight lately. I haven't been wanting my jeans tight, my tops tight, anything tight. So. I mean, I like go up a little bit, but you can't really tell that much of a difference between a 10 and a 12, to be honest. But I think I got these jeans for like 10 bucks. It says on the tag 32.99, but I know they were so cheap that I was like shocked once I got to the register. I think they were like 10 bucks. But anyway, these are great, love these. Oh, they call it a vintage stretch. So I guess that's why it's not super, super stretchy. It kind of gives you that hard denim vibe, but without it actually being hard denim. And what I also liked about these jeans, actually I almost forgot to tell you guys, was that they have black buttons. Now these are button flies, so, I mean, but it's a covered button fly, so you're not even gonna see them anyway, you're just gonna see this first top button. But I really like that they're black on black because sometimes when it's button fly and it has silver buttons, they're just very in your face and obvious. So I like the black on black, and I, I've been loving uh, black hardware on black items lately. Like, a couple of my Saint Laurent bags are black on black, and I love that. And next up, I have a couple of pairs of sandals. I picked up some really easy slides. They're both Birkenstocks, and Birkenstocks are making a huge comeback. They're like everywhere now. And I'm really glad about that because they're super comfortable. Now, I got a couple of colors. Now, first of all, this one brand is called Papillo, Papilio. It's actually like a Birkenstock sub-brand. I think it's like maybe their more affordable line or something like that. I'm really not sure, but I know that they are part of the whole Birkenstock group. But anyway, 
These are platform and I love them. So good. Now they look a little dirty, but I've worn them like three or four times already. I love them so much. They have that platform. They're super comfortable and they're white. They go with a lot of stuff. They have a fresh flavor for the summer. You know what I mean? And I actually think I'm going to wear them a little bit into the fall because where I live, the fall is still pretty warm. So I can get away with sandals for quite some time. And I have been really obsessed with these. And I've actually gotten lots of compliments on these. Now, next up are Birkenstocks. These are actually Birkenstocks. And I love these because they're floral and they're pink, so cute. And I was actually debating whether or not I was gonna keep them just because I want another pair of Birkenstocks that are like the traditional suede with gold hardware. They had a pair at Nordstrom, but there was only one in the company and then it actually got sold. I put an order in for it when I was in the store. It was gonna ship from another location and then my order got canceled and I was bummed about it. But I'm just gonna try to find them online at another website. So I had already ordered these before I saw the other ones. And the reason why I ordered these is because I wanted to replace another pair of Birkenstock-ish looking sandals. They weren't actually Birkenstocks, but they were the same style and they, they were floral. And I wore them so much. You, pro you might have even seen them in some of my outfits of the week videos because um, they're so easy to style. They go with so many things. And I kind of was treating the floral like a neutral. Especially for the summer, it just went with so many things. So I really wanted to replace those. I wore those so much that the actual, like the bottom, like separated. They started falling apart. I wore down the back. It was really a mess. But I love these so much because they're so durable. And it's almost like the more you wear them, the better they look. So I wanted to replace those. Now, these are a really good replacement. But because I really want those suede ones, I was debating whether I really need three Birkenstocks in my collection, you know? I mean, need is a strong word. I don't need any of this stuff, you know? <laughs> but I really do like Birkenstocks and these floral ones. Well, my last floral pair, I got so much weird out of them that I'm really considering keeping them, but we'll see. They actually look really cute with this gloss on right now. So maybe I do need to keep them. What do you guys think? Okay, you guys, so that was all my random goodies. Now we're gonna talk Nordstrom anniversary sale pieces. Okay, so actually a couple of these I spoke about on the live and I'm really, really happy to report that I'm in love. Now, here's the first piece. This is an Avec Le Fil coat. Now, I actually spoke on the live about the fact that I'm looking for some stable pieces. I need some basics. Those are the kinds of things I really need in my wardrobe, basics. I need basics to be able to like build other outfits. I get so many things that are like statement pieces. And for me, like my personal style, too much is not too much. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind having a metallic and a bright color and all those things just because my personality it works for me but obviously you still need to have some like supporting actors you know in the outfit so everything can't be a statement and i just wanted to really fill some holes in my wardrobe like a basic black coat um you know like some basic t-shirts some basic long sleeve shirts things like that so i'm gonna accumulate those things along the way and i'm gonna show you guys and keep you guys you know posted on that but i decided to get a couple of more statements <laughs> <laughs> so this Avec La Fil coat, I told you guys I was gonna get in black, and I did, I ordered it, it just hasn't come yet. But I was in the store and they had this, so I was like, let me just try it on. And I'm going to be purging quite a few of my coats. Actually, if you look at the rack behind me, I have tons of coats that I'm gonna be getting rid of. And I'm gonna do it like another final sweep in my coat closet and see what else, if there's anything else, you know, I want to give away or, you know, just give it to someone else who I know is really gonna be using it. So you guys, stay tuned because I'm gonna announce when they'll be in my closet sale because that's where they're gonna go, straight to the closet sale. And some of them, I haven't even worn that often. And actually, that leopard print one, I'll link the video in the description box of, of when I showed you guys this leopard print coat. And I actually have a photo on Instagram with the other puffer, you might not be able to see, but anyway, Stay tuned. So I decided to go with this coat and I love the way it fits. I love the look of it. it. Looks very expensive. Like at first on the hanger, I was just like, let me just try it on. I don't know if I'm gonna do, get the blue or not. But then when I put it on, it looks so great. So I really like it. And usually I don't go for covered buttons, but I don't mind these. They look really good. And at the end of the day, it's very easy to just switch out some buttons. You know what I mean? But one thing I am gonna have to do is get the sleeves shortened because I got this in an extra large because I wanted a little bit of an oversized fit. Like I said, these days I'm into a little bit of an oversized fit. And I think the extra large fit me, still really fit me well, but it gave, it gave me that oversized vibe that I was looking for. But the sleeves are too long now. So I'm just gonna take them right to Nordstrom Tailoring 
and get the sleeve shortened. Super easy. Now, this next piece I'm really, really, really excited about. I'm honestly excited about all the pieces that I picked because this year I felt like I was really focused on like just getting specific things and not just buying all willy-nilly crazy. We also talked about this coat on the YouTube Live that we did when we shopped the sale together. And I said that I wasn't sure. I said that I wasn't even gonna get this because it wasn't filling a hole in my wardrobe, but it turns out it is. I do not already own a patent trench in green. <laughs> so I decided to go with this one. Now when I saw it online, I was like, this could really go either way. It can look a little cheap. And I was like, mm, I don't know, but I really liked the idea of it, but I wasn't gonna order it. I was like, you know what? It's really not something that I need. It's not a part of the plan that I had, so I'm not gonna get it. But then when I was in the store, they had this color, they had my size, and it worked out. It's gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so cute, in fact. And I had on a pair of oversized shades with it. I just happened to have those glasses on and when I put it on another customer in the store. She was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. And I was like, I know, doesn't it? So, super cute. It buttons and it has a tie. It's just really cute. And it's like, this is a faux patent. It's not a real patent leather, but it has a nice stretch to it. Okay, so it says imitation leather, 90% polyester, 10% spandex. It's a coated polyurethane. So if you guys are like into vegan leather or you know, just like non-leather things, this is great. And the price is really great. Like if you could got if you guys can get this, you should. This is by the brand Leaf and Full price is $150, but on the sale is $73.90. And honestly, this is a neutral. Even though it has a sheen, it's an interesting neutral. And those are the kind of neutrals I'm always I'm always looking for that I always seem to acquire in my wardrobe because I just can't have anything that's just plain. <laughs> I love, love, love this. You guys, I'm so happy that I got this piece. This piece was like an unexpected treasure. I really, like, I, I just cannot wait to style it for you guys. Now, the last couple of like clothing pieces that I got were just two basic cardigans. These are by the brand Halogen. I got this gray one, and then I also got the black one. So these sweaters were in the sale last year, and I actually got it in a color similar to this blazer. And I loved it so much, I wore it constantly. So I figured that I should get these two colors. Now, last year, I regret that I didn't. After the sale was over and I saw how much I wore the brown version, I was like, wow, I really should have got the other colors of the sweater. And I didn't, but now I was happy to see that these were on there. And I actually didn't, I mean, maybe it was on there and I overlooked it, but I didn't see them online. I saw them when I went to the store. And these are actually the Nordstrom hangers, so that's why they look like this. But yeah, love this sweater. The full price is $1.99, and on the anniversary sale, it's gonna be $98.90. I mean, $98.90 is still pricey for a sweater, but because of how much I actually wore the other one, and it's like a basic staple in my closet that I know I'm gonna be wearing for years to come, I just knew that I'm gonna get my wear out of these two. So when you think about things like that, it was a great deal. And the last thing I picked up was this micro needle kit from Beauty Bio. Now a while back, I mean like months, months, months ago, I was looking into micro needling. I watched a ton of YouTube videos because I just wanted to get more into skincare and I was curious to try micro needling because people said that it was really amazing. It works for dark spots. It works um, for pores, like if you have enlarged pores, pores, it really helps shrink them. If you have dark spots, like I said, it really helps uh, get rid of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, even stretch marks. It helps tighten the skin, like it was like a miracle worker. So I really wanted to try it for some of the dark spots I have on my skin and for stretch marks. And I actually heard that it also helps with cellulite, but I'm not gonna use this one for cellulite because I would get a separate one. This one is just for my face. But when I saw this one, it has a micro needle for the under eye, which I didn't even know you could do that because, I mean, in my mind it would be too abrasive for the under eye, but they have different levels of micro needles. So, I mean, if you really think about it, I guess it makes sense. After you micro needle, you put on like your serums and it really, the serums really penetrate your skin a lot faster and a lot more effectively and your skin can like absorb them really, really nicely. So I'm excited to try it. I mean, they have a couple of before and after pictures on here if you guys want to see. Now just knowing about micro needling, I know what I have seen in videos and people have done like before and afters. So, and it looks really good. So I figured I would just try it. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. I really don't know anything about Beauty Bio skincare, so I can't really speak to that. I'm gonna try it though with the micro needling. I'm also gonna try it with my current skincare routine and see you know how that feels as well. But I'm also gonna do a skincare routine for you guys. It's not gonna include the micro needling because I wanna show you guys my current skincare routine and then I'll do like an update with 
um, you know, what has changed, if the micro needling is working or not, whatever. And the great thing about getting things from Nordstrom, if I try it for a couple of weeks and it's not working or it's not doing what it claims that it can do, I will simply just take it back to Nordstrom and they will refund. So this is the micro needle for the under eye. This is the actual, you know, face micro needle. This here is the skin, uh, it's a vitamin C cream. Then they also have some under eye patches. I don't know anything about those, I'm gonna have to just see. But I'm really excited to try it. And then, I think it also has like a cleanser in here somewhere, but I don't see it. But when I read the back, it says that it has like a bunch of stuff in it. But yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys posted because I'm excited to try it. Well, if you made it this far into the video, then you made it to my announcement and I'm really excited, super excited to announce that I've hit 20,000 subscribers. Like I literally had no subscribers and when I finally like got a couple subscribers, I hardly had any views and I actually used to make a video with like my milestones every 100 subscribers. So if you guys wanna check out that playlist, I actually offer a couple of tips. I share my experience, but right now I just wanted to say thank you to you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Like a lot of you, we have conversations on Instagram or in the comments on YouTube. Obviously a lot of you are in the Facebook group. So if you wanna join the Facebook group and you're not a part of it, I'll have that link in the description box as well. But also if you guys are new here, or if we've been chatting for a long time, let me know your name, let me know something new about you, and let me know if you have different names across different platforms, because I know sometimes I'll be chatting with you on Instagram, and then you might comment on YouTube, but then you have a whole different name here. So just let me know, so that way I can like connect the dots, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys, because I really appreciate it. Some of you I know have been here since the very beginning, so you've seen my channel grow, and you know how like crazy this is. And some of you are new, but I still appreciate all of you guys. So, to say thank you, I'm doing a huge giveaway. Now, you might have already seen my last video, but if you haven't, I'll link it in the description box. Sam Edelman gifted me one, two, three, four pairs of shoes. And these four pairs of shoes are a few of my favorites, and they're the loafers. I talk to you guys, oh my gosh so often about how much I love the Sam Edelman loafers. And I'm really happy to be able to gift you guys some of these shoes because I tell you guys about them all the time. So anyway, I just wanted to give you something that I know you're gonna love and I know it's gonna work in your wardrobe. And I just, it's gonna be great. So I really want to share this with you. Now, if you haven't seen that video, it's gonna it's two pairs of loafers and two pairs of sandals. These sandals are specifically for my Facebook group. So if you are already in my Facebook group, and you signed up, you probably know that a while back I did a post asking you guys to input some of your information in case I do giveaways. It's because I already knew I was gonna be doing a giveaway <laughs> and I uh, wanted to make sure that I had you guys' information so I can go randomly check. So if you're not already in the Facebook group or if you're already joining and you didn't see that post, I'll repost it and you'll have time to sign up for future giveaways. But right now, these are just for the Facebook group. The next piece I'm giving away are these H&M sandals absolutely love these these are a really great basic but an interesting neutral of course gotta have an interesting neutral now i already showed you guys the birkenstocks the platform white ones that i have so you guys already know this is totally my vibe and i think that you guys are going to get some great wear out of these they actually are really great quality they're great by the pool and they're going to be great with jeans and a t-shirt love these next up i have a couple of pairs of vince sandals you guys so cute and if you watch my channel, you've already seen, like, I've styled my nude Vince sandals so many times already on my channel. I hope you guys can tell. But I will have, if I can, I'll put the links to everything in the description box so you can check out, like, what it looks like. But the giveaway is going to be totally random. So if you want to purchase them, I'll have that link in the description box. Or if you want to, like, read about the specs or anything like that. So these sandals are part of the giveaway. I actually have two pairs of these. And I'm really excited for some for a couple of lucky winners to get these because they're gorgeous. They're a really nice like gladiator style sandal. The chunky sort of sandal is so on trend, but this is a sandal that you can have for years. Pull them out and they're gonna look really good. They have a really nice square toe. I love a square toe on a sandal, on a boot. I just love a square toe. 
And when square and square toes are on trend right now, so when things that I love are on trend, I try to like snap them up because you never know what's gonna happen, you know. Both of the Vince sandals are the same color, so I'm not gonna bother showing you those. If you want to check out the Sam Edelman sandals, I'll have a link to that video in the description box. And then the last couple of things I want to give away, I am so excited for these as well. I'm actually I'm excited about all the pieces. It's really good, so good. This is a good giveaway. I am partnered with Anna Luisa. It's a jewelry company that has some really gorgeous, affordable pieces that are great to be layered. They're great additions to your existing jewelry collection. And they have some really great pieces that you can use to build your collection. If you're just starting out, they're really great gifts, all that good stuff. And if you guys want, you can check out some of my other videos where I show you guys some of my Anna Luisa pieces. I'm actually wearing one of my Anna Luisa rings. Love this ring. I'm, first of all, I'm obsessed with pearls. And this ring is like perfect for me. So I love that. Now the first piece they sent over were these earrings. A very nice petite pair of earrings that still make a statement. They're like a double hoop. And they're also really pair nicely with a, like an air cuff. If you have multiple piercings, you can layer these with like a nice little stud. Very cute. And the last piece they sent over was this super cute necklace. I love this because this also is really nice for layering. That's the great thing about all their jewelry, honestly. You can layer all the necklaces up. You can layer like the earrings with an air cuff. So good. And a lot of the pieces are like petite, but they're still bold enough to make a statement. And I like that a lot. These are great pieces to wear to work every day or to just add as a layering piece with all your other jewelry. I love that. These are really cute. And they'll go with so many things. So like if you're a gold girl or even if you're someone who likes to mix your metals, the gold is not too shiny that it wouldn't work well with your other pieces, you know what I mean? Or rose gold, I know a lot of people like to layer rose gold and gold, or rose gold and silver, or silver with gold. And now I'm into mixing my metal, so, you know, that's pretty cute. <laughs> but yeah, those are all my giveaway items, and I cannot wait to announce the winners. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna make the announcement. But stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to my Instagram and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up because I don't want you guys to miss any notifications. So make sure your notification bell is turned on as well. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I'm so excited to announce the giveaway winners. And I'm really excited to show you guys the rest of my order from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Let me know in the comments if you guys have already been able to shop the sale or you know, if you guys have plans to shop, if you're not able to shop Icon level right now. Make sure you check the description box because I'll have tons of links for you to click on. And I will have the closet sale there if you guys wanna check out some of the shoes that I have uploaded. And don't forget, stay tuned because I'm gonna be uploading some of my jackets on the closet sale as well. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit your notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.